In this video, I'm going to test four knitting toys and machines. So if you guys know me, I actually picked up crocheting not too long ago and I've been crocheting ever since. Knitting and crocheting is not really the same thing, but it's really close, right? You gotta make everything using some yarn and some sticks and they're both like magic to me. Anyways, I've got four Japanese knitting toys that went kind of viral in the past and I know these are just toys, but you could never underestimate toys. I also want to test these out because I'm a little bit skeptical. They say that you can make everything with these toys, like you can make a bag, a scarf, a hat, a plushie. So guys, let's see if these toys and machines actually work. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. Testing some Japanese knitting toys. Let's get started. Okay, first one, let's test out this minion knitting machine. Fun fact, I've actually used this before, like five to six years ago for a sponsorship. So this box came with this machine, a bag of yarn, felt, and like little decorations. This I bought it myself, and this lid that you could put it on top. But you know, you don't really need this. Anyways, let's see what we can make from here. I'm just gonna use some yarn that I already had in my room, because I have so many, and I just don't feel like using the ones that came with it. I don't know, it just feels so much more precious, so I'm gonna put this aside side and let's just use this yarn. So how to use this machine? You want to get the end and put it inside. When you twist it, all these like little hooks kind of pop up. So you want to hook it onto one of those hooks and then you hook it and then twist. You skip the next one and go to the next next one and then twist, skip, and you're going to repeat this until you're done with the whole circle. So twist, hook. So I think we did a full circle. Now I'm just gonna put this yarn into the gap right here and then hook it onto this part, wrap it around so it's got some tension and that's basically it. Now I'm just gonna hold onto the yarn that's inside the machine. Not too tight, but you know, just tug a little bit. Okay, one thing that's kind of bothering me is that it moves so much. I'm just gonna tape it onto the table with some nano tape. Okay, hopefully that works. Okay, so much better. Oh, and it's so important to have like loose yarn out. I need a yarn bowl. I don't know why I don't have a yarn bowl yet. Just keep on swimming, just keep on swimming. Okay, I don't wanna use too much yarn for my first project. Let's see how it looks. So now I'm supposed to just like cut it off. I think it said like leave like 20 centimeters, but I'm gonna leave around like 30 centimeters just in case. And I'm just gonna take it off the hook and I'm just gonna turn it one more time and it should come right off. Okay, oh wait, ooh. I don't see any gaps, I don't see any like fallouts. The edge looks really loose, but I mean, I think it's workable. It is a little bit small though. I don't think I can make a hat for myself with this machine. Like, <laughs> okay, but I mean, it's working. Okay, let me try it again to show you from a different angle. I'm going to hook it onto this first hook right here. Skip one, and hook. Nothing complicated. And we've gone a full circle. I'm gonna put it in through right here. So now I'm just gonna lightly hold on to the yarns and twist. Once you get the first part done, it's like smooth sailing. And wait, there's actually one more thing that I could do. Can you guys see this switch right here? It says W on the left side and H on the right side. If you twist this to H, it does completely something different. So again, we're just gonna do the same thing. Skip one and hook. And once you go all the way around, you actually can't move it anymore. So now you need to start twisting the other way. Wait, 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 something's wrong with it. Okay, I totally messed it up. I do love these like DIY toys, but sometimes it just takes a while to get the hang of it. Okay, let me read the instructions again. I'm supposed to have three hooks open and wrap it around. Hopefully this time works. I start twisting it to the other side. And when it stops, I change directions. And let's take it out. It's not coming off. Okay, finally, it's off. And this is what we've got. Okay, um. Okay, okay, that one sucked, so I tried it again.
And guys, I finally made it to work. Oh my gosh, guys, patience is key for everything and a little bit of love. So there's two ways you can knit using this machine. If you turn the switch to W, you can knit something like this. You can turn the W to H and knit it flat like so. I know this isn't much yet because it's so small, but I think this actually works. So guys, I am so happy to say that I wanna give this a 9.5 out of 10. It actually works. It's a great toy. Like it's not a toy, but you just need a little bit of time to get used to it. Moving on. Weekly crochet update time. So I recently picked up crocheting and ever since I've been doing like this weekly update just to get a little bit of motivation and to share my journey with you guys. So guys, I've been trying to make a sweater and this was attempt number one, my first attempt. But then this wasn't working out so I scratched this and started a new one. And my second one looked something like this. But I wasn't really liking this one as well. I kept on going like tighter and tighter so I have to like unravel it every single time and I was like going nowhere until you guys. Some of you guys told me about a top to bottom sweater and oh my gosh, Thank you guys so much. So I started a new project and it currently looks something like this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. It's actually looking something like a sweater. <gasps> I mean, I could actually kind of wear this already. It's like a crop top, kind of. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually making like a sweater. Whoever told me about this, thank you. Thank you so much. And I mean, that's it for today. So anyways, let's go back to the video. Okay, next toy, and it is called Amukawa Amina. And guys, I have such high hopes for this machine. Like, look, it looks so fun. It looks like a piano. All you have to do is prep the yarn, put the sheet inside, and slide. One, two, three. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad, right? And apparently you can make all these stuff. There were actually a lot of parts and I built it all up. So according to the instructions, again, it's very important to have a lot of loose yarn. So I'm just going to pull it out and it's got like these antennas on the top. So you want to hook the yarn right here and loop it around for some tension and press all the needles out. And each needle got like these spoon like thingies. You want them to be open. So make sure they're all open and pull it through here. And now you just go up, down, up, down. It's so hard to do it while holding a camera. And you do the same thing going back. And that's basically it. And now we're ready to knit. And here we go. First swipe. And swipe. I'm not sure if this is working, guys. But it's kind of working. Oh, the edge is very loose, though. But it's got a few problems. I think I did something wrong. And let me unravel it and start all over. Okay, all set. Check, check, and check. Three, two, one. Oh no, the edge is looking kind of... Hmm. The edge looks very loose. Okay, I'm going to restart again because I think the foundation is super important. Third time's the charm. Here we go. So guys, this is my first creation. Okay, it's working for some parts, but the ends, it's always the ends. I don't know what happened right here. Okay, fourth time to charm. Oh no, something got messed up again. Okay, now it's working. Okay, a little bit of fallout. You know what? Let's keep on going. So now I'm going to put on these weights. Oh no, it kind of got stuck. I mean, I have to say I am seeing something. Like it is kind of working. So I kept messing up, so I tried checking every hook, every single swipe, and then used my crochet hook to fix it when I saw something wrong. But, and even with that much care and intention, it still got some fallouts. And the problem is, once you make a mistake, you can't really go back. It's just so hard to fix it. I'm sorry, but I really don't think this is actually gonna work. By the way, I checked the reviews and many were actually able to use this machine. But they all said that they were stressed at first and it took some time for them to get to know the machine. So kudos to all of them who made it work. 
Okay guys, how many times I try it, I just can't make it to work. But overall, I have to give this like a 2 out of 10. If I can't figure it out how to work, kids are not going to be able to play with this. But guys, I haven't shown you the best features of this machine yet. Apparently, you can make designs with this. I kind of really, really doubt it, but let's see how it works. Okay, let's try making something very easy. Maybe like a heart. For the heart, let's try using this yarn. You're supposed to hook the other color on the other antenna. So that's why there's two. And pull through. Let's use this as a base and this for the heart. Okay, three, two, one. Oh no, why is this so hard? Okay, this is already a fail, but you know what? Let's just keep on going and let's add a heart. So the fun part is that you're supposed to put it in right here and you twist it down. The red dots represent this yarn and the blue dots represent this yarn. So now I'm just gonna unhook the current yarn that we're using. Now enter pink yarn. I'm gonna see the numbers right here. It says 10, 11, and 12. So I'm supposed to pull down 10, 11, and 12. I'm gonna change the switch from start to heart and swipe. And it changed colors. So again, 10, 11, and 12. And the sheet automatically scrolls. So I'm just gonna follow this design and push down 13 to 20 and swipe. And that's basically how you change colors. But as you can see, it's like unhooked around here. I mean, like, I don't know what happened right here. I'm sorry, but this is just not working. It's fun. I love how you can make designs. But guys, I don't think this is it. Okay, it is the next day and it is toy number three. I'm actually taking like four to five hours each toy because I want to give it a fair chance. They all have like a learning curve. Apparently with this toy, you can make a scarf with some designs on it. It comes with like these three thingies that look like an arrow, some yarn, and these design sheets. It also comes with this comb, two sticks, and I don't know what I should call this, like a ruler thing with holes inside. Okay, so how to use. By the way, I just got this from Daiso. I just wanted to use a cheap yarn for my practice rounds. So first thing, you need 18 yarns that's around 160 centimeters. So one, two, three. Okay, this might be the most tedious part out of all. 18 of these. 13, 17, 18. And here we've got 18 strings. So now we're gonna get three and I'm just gonna hook it onto here and loop it around. And I'm just gonna let it rest. And we're just gonna continue this until we fill up all the slots. And last one. Loop and spread. I'm going to twist this to roll up the yarn. And just to make it cleaner, I'm just going to cut off the excess. I'm going to tighten it a little bit and loop it around this hook. Like that. And to tighten it even more, I'm just going to roll this side slightly. And slide this ruler thing inside right here. And now when I move this lever up and the yarn keeps on interchanging. So now we've got this part done. We're going to need to fill these up with yarn. It's so sparkly. And we're going to loop it around right here and onto the other side. Loop, down, and we're just going to do this like 15 times. And we're just going to cut it off. And I guess we are all ready. I'm going to put the stick in through right here, up and down. And the yarn changes, so I'm going to put the second stick in right here. And now we're ready to start. And you want to make sure the very right pin is up and just tie a knot right here. All I have to do now is weave and pull through. This is where the comb comes in handy and I'm just going to comb it down. And now the left pin is up. So now I'm going to go from the left to right and comb down. That's basically it. Down and up. I am impressed. It's so fun when it's actually working. I love it. Okay, down and up. So you basically just want to continue that. So now I want to try adding a design. And this is when it becomes a little bit tricky. Like with this one, you can make a heart, a star, and you could also make all these characters. By the way, they're Sumiko Gurashi characters. They're just really, really cute. Let's try making a bear, a white bear. Okay, so the instructions. Now I'm going to lift this up and take out this thing inside. Instead, we're going to be sliding the sheets in. I think this is so cool. Oh. And we are all set. 
So I'm gonna pull it up and down. And since the right pin is up, I'm going to use the blue yarn and pull through. Now the left pin is up. So now I'm just gonna tie this brown yarn on the very right and I'm just gonna pull through. So now both pins are up. So now I'm just gonna tie the white one on the very edge and weave through, I think. Okay, never mind. I needed a different yarn. So I went to sleep and continued on the next day. Next day. Okay, let's try this again. I just went to Daiso and got a whole bunch of new yarn. I'm going to start off with this yarn again. So swipe, comb. I mean, this part is working completely fine. Oh wait, I forgot to add the sticks. Let me like try to squeeze it in. Okay, I squeezed it in. Now to insert this card, and you roll it up to that line right there. So guys, let's hope that this works. Down and up. And we're just gonna continue this. I'm kind of seeing it. It's kind of hard not to go like too tight. I mean, everything has a learning curve. We're almost there. So let's see what we have. Kind of, see? Okay. I see you. I'm actually quite impressed. It's just like a sheet of paper. I also want to say that you also need a lot of practice. I've been working on this for like two days now, so I'm just gonna stop right here. Okay, so my final thoughts. I have to give this like a 7 out of 10. It actually works. It says what it says it could do. You do need like a specific kind of yarn. You do need some practice. So that's why I deducted 3 points, but still, overall, I had a lot of fun. So now, let's move on to the final one. Ta-da! It's actually the same thing from last time, but this time it's actually a machine. Let's open it. And I think that's it. And this was what was inside. So first, and obviously, there's this machine. It looks very similar from before, from the last one. But guys, look at this. It's a robot now. And it also comes with these, a comb, slightly larger, two sticks, a needle, and some yarn. Let me read the instructions. You need 24 70 centimeter yarn. And apparently, it's got the measure right here on the box. So I'm just gonna get some yarn and measure out 70 centimeters. I think that's smart and very helpful. So that's one yarn around 70 centimeters. And here we have 24. And we're basically gonna do the same thing as last time. I'm just gonna loop it right here and place it inside these slots. In the moment of truth, here we go. And on. Oh my gosh. Interesting. That was a nice performance. Yay! There's some designs with two colors and three colors. So for two colors, you can make like this pattern, like this stripe. Ooh, that's cute. And let's see what they've got with three colors. Okay, something about this is telling me it's kind of broken. According to this, I'm pressing the right buttons, but the pattern's not showing up. I'm supposed to be able to make all these fun designs, but no, I could only choose from two designs. Even when I choose the three colored designs, it brings me back to the same place. Let's just go with whatever I could make. Let's go with like a stripe pattern and swipe. So we're basically doing the same thing as last time, but check this out. It moves by itself. It's a bummer that this toy was broken, but I've played with this before and it was fine back then. So it might just be this toy's problem. Why do I always get the broken toys? It's happened to me so many times before. I must be cursed. But don't worry, we could actually add more designs. By adding this extra cartilage, you can make more designs. And I bought the Sanrio version. Look at all these cute designs. They're all so cute, but I have to go with Hello Kitty. So how to use. <gasps> you could just slide it out and push this inside. That was super easy. So you could do Hello Kitty, my melody, Pom Pom Purin, and again, let's go with Hello Kitty. And 
after that, it was smooth sailing. It took like 1-2 to two hours per design and it was honestly so easy, I was just watching anime on the side. By the way, my current favorite is Sol Sol no Huriren, just saying. And even when my partner played a prank on me because he was bored, I kept on going and after a few hours, I was finally, finally done. And after like 3-4 to four hours, this is how it turned out. Are you ready for the back? It looks <laughs> like this. I mean, it's not perfect, but I mean, it's cute. It was fun, guys. It was fun. Okay, so my final, final thoughts. This is like a legit machine. It does everything for you. It's super cute. But is it like super, super practical? No. I don't know what to use this for. Maybe like an eye mask? Overall, I would have to say that it was a great learning experience. But anyways, I hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye! This week's featured creator is Sai. She is a great artist. I mean, look at Paimon. She looks fabulous! And she also does manga drawings. I mean, it's totally my cup of tea. So guys, please, please check her out. So from now on, I will host a featured creator section in my videos. These are the rules if you want to be featured as well. Number one, check out this week's featured artist and leave them a comment. You can't expect people to check yours if you wouldn't do the same for others. Let's spread love and kindness. I want to make the best supportive community ever. And number two, let me know what your channel is about and that you're interested in signing up. I will choose a creator for next week from this comment section. And I will also appreciate if you could just comment something about this video too. So I'll see you guys next video. Bye!